Well, the next time you think about reaching for a bag of chips or some pretzels, maybe you might want to think again. A just published study, sorry, is revealing the serious consequences of eating so-called ultra-processed foods. NBC News health reporter Aria Bendix joins us now. Aria, break down the findings and what, what is an ultra-processed food? Yeah, I like to think of it as just a sort of technical term for junk food, right? So that's okay. foods with lots of flavorings, additives, not very many whole ingredients, your hot dogs, sodas, ice cream, all of that. Um, so this particular study was looking at the risk of early death from eating those foods in a group in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, and what it found was that more than 20 or more than 10 percent of those early deaths were attributable to ultra processed foods in 2019. Um, that's likely because they increase your risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes. 10 percent of deaths. Yeah, it's a considerable amount. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just was looking at the stuff we had up on the screen, the video and the list. Like, this, this is stuff that people eat, right? This, this processed food is every, the ultra processed food is everywhere in this country. I think it was the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that said these foods make up 75% roughly of the daily calories on average uh, in this country. So, how much should somebody be trying to cut back on these types of foods? Yeah, to be I healthy? mean, we should be eating these sparingly, if at all. But I think the general recommendation from this study um, is if you're eating half of your diet, from ultra processed foods, maybe scale that back to about a quarter, uh, less than 23% they found could prevent around 20,000 deaths um, wow. among oh, that wow. cohort in Brazil. So uh, it's considerable. Obviously, you know, if you wanna have a sweet treat or a salty treat every once in a while, that's good. We should be mindful that, um, you know, eating junk food all the time is just not great for our health. Everything in moderation. Yeah. Absolutely. I say that after eating pizza twice this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but see, but you won't do it today and tomorrow and the day after and the day. Hopefully. That's when it becomes a problem that's, when it gets yeah, crazy. Yeah, little exactly. changes are helpful. Small changes. <laughs> all right, all right, thanks, thanks so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.